you. I'm sorry I got angry before. It's okay. But we can't know anything until after the scan. That's what he said. We can't know. Are you going to hate me? I can't have your kids. Because... Because you know that you can. Karen, stop. Even if we can't have any kids, I'll still want to be with you. Even if we have a hundred kids. Baron Karen. Mrs. MacDonald, would you like to come through? I love you no matter what happens. And I always will. It's like that tomorrow. We're trying to show this Ed fella that you're clever. He is clever, come on. <laughs> yeah, but he's thick and all. Go on, get your bath. And take your socks off this time. Hey, we don't have to pay in and out, do we, for this fare? We don't want it costing us. Oh, it'll cost us all right. <laughs> 20 pence. 20 P? What do you get for that? <laughs> the smug smile wiped off Sally Webster's face. <laughs> and one of the mince pies. <laughs> so, what is it you'll be looking for? Well, this machine lets us look inside your womb. It detects a heartbeat. Does it? You found one? I mean, that's what it's for. And have you found one? This early into the pregnancy, things can be difficult to see. I just want to make sure before I say either way. Do you know, um, before, when I was trying to get out here, yeah, I was looking through some channels, you know, trying to take my mind off it. And, um, well, there was this rugby thing, and the team must have just won because um, everyone was bouncing around. And uh, they were hugging each other, and the legs were like that, mm -hmm. like big tree trunks. And uh, I was thinking, well, that's somebody's boy. Can you imagine how weird that must be for the mother to give birth to a little lad? And then they see him grown up like that, like just a big bloke towering over the top of him. Wouldn't that be weird? Mrs. MacDonald. He's gone, honey. I'm afraid you've miscarried.